Welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at repairing an expandable hose. And this is a pocket hose. And you see here it is ripped open. So this is the inner, it's like a surgical tubing. And then there's the outer sheath. And this is ripped open. And there's, I don't know, about a two foot, two, three foot split here. So I ordered this kit on Amazon. And this is how it came to me, like so. There's no instructions in here. So I thought I'd tackle this and I'll make a video of it to help other people. So the first thing I did was to stretch the hose out completely. So I'll splice in some video here. Okay, so I've tied the hose to this fence post and then I'm going to pull it out all the way till it's completely extended. Okay, so I've extended it. Now I'm going to walk my hands up to the torn area, but I'm going to make sure I'm pressing the outer layer and the inner layer together so they don't slide. Okay, so I'm at the torn area and I've put a clamp there. So I'll be doing the repair right around this area here. And I could actually probably repair the other end too. So the reason I stretched it out is to make sure the inner tube and the outer sheath are at the correct length for where I cut it. Okay, so I have these clamps on here. And the reason you want to do that is, at least looking at this, that the sheath is about twice as long as this inner tube. So I wanted to stretch this so it was at the correct placement for when I make the repair. So in that video I just showed you, I put one clamp on, but I went back and did a second one while it was stretched so I can make a shorter hose. Because this has four pieces for each side, so eight uh, ends that you can fix. So I'll put a link in the description of this kit, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Okay, so I have this clamped, and this is the broken area, so I'll cut it somewhere right around here. Okay, so that's cut. Okay, so I'm merging this in the video. This is my tube here. You look at one end is expanded. This is stretched out when it filled up after it broke. So you wanna make sure you cut it back to some part where it's narrow. So you can see it expanded here. I could have cut it here. I lost a little bit of hose there. So you wanna cut off all this really large stuff. Next, I need to take one of these pieces and there should be eight of these and they're, all be, they're the same if you have male or female. And that'll go around the cloth sheath area. I'll pull that down out of the way. And now I'll pull the tube out. And I'll put one of these white pieces over it. Now the part I cut off was a male, so I want to replace it with a male. So that needs to slide on here. So I have the two pieces there. I'm going to slide this on. and I'm pushing it this way. If I pull from the top, it will stretch it out and probably make it a little harder to put on. Okay, I have that all the way up. Okay, so now I have to get this piece on, so I'm going to pinch it up here and pull on this to thin it a little bit so this will fit over, and I need to line up these notches. Okay, I have that on. So now I need to put the sheath on. So I'll slide that up over the white part. And I'm pulling on this to stretch it. Make sure it's even all the way around. And now I'll tighten it on there. Okay, it seems like everything is tight. Now I can take the clamp off.
and it's ready for testing. Another thing is if you're putting the female on, that goes like this, okay? And then you want to put one of these rubber gaskets in it, they're in this bag, and then take one of the male pieces, and we'll thread that on really tight, and then we can tighten this against this. Because this just rotates freely, you can't really hold this and tighten this. So now I'm able to tighten it, although it's slipping still. There we go. There, so I got it tight. So I'm going to head outside and I'll hook this up and we'll see if it holds water. Okay, I put a nozzle on here. I'll turn this on. There we go. It seems a little uneven there. Now you see there's some dripping. That's my nozzle itself. But the repair doesn't seem to be leaking. So I could maybe loosen that up and try and straighten that out a little bit. Obviously out with the water out of it. But the repair does seem to be holding. So that was a lot nicer than having to buy a whole new hose like this. We lost a little bit of length, but actually we gained a shorter version of it. I'll be putting an end on the other one to repair it too. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.